All right, this is gonna be a short and simple video of how to install a wireless camera on your RV. This way I got off Amazon, came in a kit. The kit comes with that wire and you'll have an extra wire. Mine was longer than that. I cut it off because I don't need all that extra wire. So you'll have those pieces ready. So I have three running lights on the back of my Keystone Laredo. What I did is I took the middle one, I pulled it off by taking this lens off, just with a flathead screwdriver. And then there's gonna be two screws that mount it there. And then I pulled that off. There is a light bulb here in the middle. You will then twist that, push it out. So then you would have your light bulb hanging here. I cut those off. I have prepared these two wires. On most RVs, white is negative. Check with yours. I'm not a professional. My truck is unplugged, so I don't have any wire, any uh, power running back here right now. I suggest cutting all power so you don't get electrocuted. Again, I'm not a professional. What you're gonna to wanna to do now that everything is popped off, this wire that came with your kit, again, I already spliced that. It was connected just to a longer piece of wire I don't need. You will hook your white wire to your white wire. You will hook your red to mine happens to be yellow, that's positive. And then you will crimp those. I have a crimping kit, pretty cheap on Amazon as well. Do whatever you want, use a wire tie, just make it safe. You're gonna put these two together. Then you're gonna tuck those back in. You're gonna tuck that in. You're gonna make sure you have enough room for this cable to be sticking out through that hole on the back of your mount. And then when you're ready, you will connect the one that's out of the back of your camera to the one that you just installed on your trailer, like so. And then you will have to probably turn your lights on on your truck and your trailer will have to be connected to get running power back to this wire that's sticking out and then you should have power to your camera you want to tuck as much wiring back as you can some people will be able to use the existing light fixture and you should be able to fit your mount inside of there i know it's pretty bright light out here but anyway it should fit there you might want to pre-drill a couple screws there and then you'll just mount it back there tuck everything silicone it and call it a day